You'll often hear this in the stock market, history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. Today we're gonna to talk about how that relates to volume. Hey everyone, Lead Trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here, talking about volume, prediction, and a lot of these things we look for to get that edge in trading. Speaking of an edge, we're here to help. Comment below, leave those questions. We wanna answer your questions to help you become a better trader. I really think that growth in trading, growth in anything is about getting 1% better a day. And if I can answer one of your questions to help you get that 1% better, that fulfills my goals. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the alert button, ring that bell. We do a lot of these videos and we do a lot of live videos now. Um, I really want you to be notified instantly when we go live so you can see those stocks we're watching, you can see those charts real time. It's great to review after the fact, but it's really useful to see it real time. So ring that bell. In today's video, we're gonna talk about predicting late day volume spikes. So this is a question that came straight from YouTube and you know the question was exactly that. Can you predict a late day volume spike? No, you can't, but you can put as many factors in your favor to be prepared for when that volume spike starts. So I realize I'm kind of jumping back and forth. I'm saying you can't predict it, but I'm saying you can prepare for it because if we could predict it, I mean, if we could check three boxes and know a stock was gonna spike late day, well, I'd be doing this video from my, you know, private island with from my jet or something if we could do that but we can prepare and we can get ready for when the price action confirms and that's how we find consistent setups so this is what I'm going to tell you to look for these are a lot of things that I repeat all the time it's a stock that's a big gainer in the past so that's what we call a former runner best way to spot those you bring up your scans for the day you see what stocks are moving and you're looking at that one year chart that two year chart that five year chart and you're looking for those big candles those multi-day moves as i mentioned in the beginning these stocks that run in the past that's part of that history doesn't repeat but it rhymes they tend to run again in the future so first thing you do you bring up your scans you're looking at the stock and you're looking at the long-term chart don't be just staring at that one day one minute chart I think a lot of newer traders make that mistake they're staring at today only and they're not looking at the past you know a lot of a lot of stock trading mentors talk about being a history teacher I feel like that as well I talk about stocks that ran five years ago ten years ago etc so look at the past performance did it have a history of running that's a box you check does it have unusual volume today? So you're looking at this at say 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and you're trying to see if this is gonna be that big gainer in the afternoon. Look at the, what I use is the 60-day average volume, okay? That's easy to find in stocks to trade. You should be able to turn it on in probably any charting platform. It's on by default, right in your total view in stocks to trade. I wanna see volume that is considerably higher than the 60 day average. That tells me that there's a lot of eyeballs. There's a lot of traders in this. Remember, for a stock to go up, you need more buyers than sellers. More volume means more buyers, heightening the chance of an afternoon spike. Then we wanna see a stock simply with news. Um, we're in a wild bull market right now, recording this video in 2019, but it started 2015, 2016. I mean, a lot of these stocks, I mean, the news can be quote unquote dubious, but if you've got a news article from today that at least halfway reads positive, it, it pushes these stocks. Whether the algos are buying it or it's just traders rushing in, these stocks with news, that's a big thing. Then look for breakouts on the chart. So breaking, uh, say, a 90-day level, uh, breaking out a six-month level, maybe it's a one-year level, maybe it's an all-day high. But those are the biggest things you wanna look for. Unusual volume, news, past instances of running, also, look at the overall market, okay? If you're looking at a stock to potentially trade in the afternoon and the SPY, the QQQ, the Dow Jones, they're all in the dumps, maybe you wanna back off and say, whoa, wait a minute, maybe I wanna be a little more cautious. Market's ripping, ripping new highs, pushing, that's gonna add to your basket of ideas. So, 
Really focus on putting as many of these indicators in your, into your decision making as possible. It's all about volume, it's all about sentiment. The, the, you wanna line all of these things up because you wanna be looking at what other traders are looking at. The market is quite often a self-fulfilling prophecy. Try it, experiment with it, check off all those boxes. If you can't check all those boxes, sometimes no trade is the best trade. So let me know below, comment below. Do you use all these factors? Do you use different factors to locate late day spikes? I wanna know. Remember, nobody has ever done learning how to trade. One of the things that makes me so passionate about teaching trading is it's always an evolution. If you've been doing it 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, 50 years, you're never done. There's always something to learn, there's always something to tweak, there's always something to get better at. So what are you using to protect late day spikes? Let me know below and give me questions. Love answering these questions. This topic came straight from you in the comments. I read every comment, I would like to try and reply to everyone, so comment below subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell. Next time I go live, screen sharing my screen, I want you to be there. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.